Okay guys, Chris here doing a review on the UTG uh, red and green dot site. Um, this is made by UTG. They're about $35, $36. I got mine off of uh, Amazon. As you can see it right here. For $36 with free shipping. For the money, this is actually not a bad site for your 22. I would strongly recommend not putting it on anything like bigger than a 22 mag. Just because I don't think it'll hold up. It is a cheap red dot sight but it actually has hold zero you'll see in the following videos that we have shot it and this gun's already been safety checked so don't worry about it also let's see if I can get these caps open so the caps open and I put some safety glue or not safety glue but super glue right there you can see a little dot right there on the pivoting spots just on one side don't do both sides or it won't open but if you do it, it pivots and it also keeps the pin um, glued to the uh, to the caps, and that'll keep it from coming out. Because a lot of people say the pins come out and the caps go bye bye. Well, let's put a little super glue on there, and I don't have to worry about that. Let's see if I can turn the red dot on. I'll turn on the slow setting. See if you guys can see it. There you go. Not a bad little red dot. That's on its lowest setting. So all in all, all I can say is, uh, you know, for 22, I think this is perfect. Um, comes with a, a really nice box. Comes with an extra battery, little user manual, and I've got a, a lot of good reviews on the internet about this. So I figured I'd pick one up, and I actually like it. It actually worked worked really well, and you guys will be able to tell in the following videos that it worked out okay for us in the end. All right, thanks for watching shooting the UTC red dot sight so far it's not been very good so we'll see if we can get it adjusted and make it hold to zero Now it's just a tad high. <laughs> well, I never did bring it, bring it down. Probably needs to go two, three clicks down. Just two clicks down, and you're you're good. It knocked off one of the covers. <laughs> That's shooting right there. I'm I'm right there. Okay, are you ready? Yep. It's like a tad left. Got it? Yeah. See, so we're shaking it, hitting the scope. I'm going to see if it'll hold the zero. Simulate just driving around in your truck. This holds a zero. I'll put one on my Ruger. Keep going. You're just a tad up left, but I mean, it's right by the bullseye, and you had a couple in the bullseye, too. So that's not too bad for the UTC red dot. I think I'll have to buy one for the Ruger now. And that is a 5 MOA red dot, so I blame the red dot for not hitting in the center like that. We're going to do the same red dot at the 50 yards, which you just saw. With the UTC. 
UTC, UTG, I don't know, I'm not really sure what that says. But it's like a $35 red dot. Alrighty. Go ahead, man. That sounded funny. John? Yep. Well, it's holding a grouping at uh, 50 yards. A little high here. Uh, that might have been me though. I wasn't quite lined up on, on the uh, red dot, but once I repositioned, I started holding a grouping. So you need to lower it about an inch? No, 50 yards, I'd leave it. Okay. You're still dead center, or, st or center mass. For 22, personally, anything within the 8, I would call it good at a 50 yard range. 